Hello everyone, today I am going to show you how I made our DIY Christmas stocking wreath. These are all the materials that you need, a glue stick, candy cane, ornaments, ribbons, I used the red, green, and gold, a scotch tape for the gift wrapping, tissue paper, glue gun, small boxes, a pair of scissors, gift wrapper, Christmas bell ornament, pine cones, and the artificial pine twigs. I got some of these from Amazon and from Walmart. Okay, I'm currently wrapping the small boxes to look like Christmas gift ornaments featuring Gray and John. Fun fact, I actually want to buy a wreath, but the ones that I like are quite pricey. So I said, why not do a DIY wreath using some of my extra Christmas ornaments? Hence this. And this is how it turned out. Now that our materials are all set, we will start decorating our DIY Christmas stocking wreath. By the way, guys, this is just a plain white plush stocking. I was the one who sticked the poinsettia bouquet. This is actually how it looks like. By the way, I placed a couple of bubble wraps inside to make the stocking look fluffy. It's not actually a bubble wrap, but it's those puffy plastics that they put in our packages. Familiar? If you guys know what it's called, please comment down below. Okay, now I'm starting with the pine cones. I put glue stick on the bottom part of the pine cone and stick one cone on each side below the bouquet. And the next one are the twigs. I'm trying to figure out how to put the twigs. And when I already figured it out, I put glue stick on it. I just placed two twigs on the middle part one on the other side and another two below the bouquet i'm currently sticking on that guys and this is how it looks like so far okay now i will be placing the bell i will be placing it on the bottom part of the bouquet on top of the twigs i so so love these christmas bells i just think they look so lovely and i think below the bouquet is the perfect spot for them okay i'm starting now with putting I'm putting now the ribbon. I just pasted the ribbon on the top part. Again, I am using a green and red ribbon. I'm putting on the red one first. And I just tied the two ribbons on the side. I pasted it on the front side and on the left side, I tied the ribbons to look like a bow. You don't actually to like really uh, put it so well that it would look really fancy just as long as it works and it just looks good. Okay, so now again, I am with the green one. I am tying the green ribbon and I'm cutting the edges for it to look for it to really look like a bow. And for it to, you know, just to look a little bit extra, I also added this gold curling ribbon just to add a little art on the tied ribbons on the side. And the outside part of the stocking is almost done. And I'm so excited to decorate the inside part. And there you go. The outside part decoration of the stocking is done. Now let's start with the inside part. I'm starting with the gifts. I still used glue stick so that the materials that will be placed inside will not fall off because it tends to be windy here in Alabama during winter and I'm afraid it might fall off. I was having a bit of a hard time sticking these because the weight of the decoration outside the stocking make it hard for me so guys suggestion if you're going to make this type of wreath i think it would be better if you will start decorating the inside portion first and the outside last the way it will be easier and less hassle 
And now I'm sticking the candy cones, I mean candy canes, and we will be done. That's the last touch, I believe. The candy canes. And so, this is so exciting. Okay, there you have it. Our DIY Christmas stocking wreath is done. And this is how it looks like on our front door. Happy holidays, everyone. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for you to know more about life and us.